Kilo burns 50,000 tons of coal a day. It's a lot of coal. One coal truck is 50 tons. So we build 50,000 tons a day. So they get about 40,000 or so from the mine every day. The mine is got two mines. We have an underground mine and an open cars. Of the 40,000 that comes across, between 80, between 60, and 70% uh, of that comes from underground. And a very small portion comes from the open cars. Open cars is wet, it's open, correct, it's wet. And this mixture is fine. You know, this ratio of 60, whatever. It's fine. You can deal with that, you can get it through, you can burn it, maybe we need oil. But what happened is in that evening, the underground stopped. And we got called directly from the mine straight into the power station. <coughs> They're not telling us, only from the open coast. And this coal rocking the transfer conveyors that came in. I found the they got all the units back on the road. So they got that blockages out, washed it out, cleaned it out started recovering, the mine got back, we recovered from our own stockpiles and put that through. Uh, we got the course to go in. Uh, and really, we lost these four units, you can see in the early hours of the morning. Uh, and, and that's a situation that we been lost Thursday. Uh, then they have a, a, a five-day course coal stockpile at some of our stations. We've actually went after 2008 and bought specific coal. That is coarse, and we leave it there, we don't use it. But when it rains, we then start using it and we blend it in with the wetter coal. Now, that is fine, and it's worked well up to now, but because of these extensive rains, uh, the stations has depleted that. Actually, last night, we had a meeting with the Chamber of Mines to partner with us to source for us specifically coarse coal at the station so that we have these stockpiles rebuilt. You know, all the mines are, are wet out there, and so we've spoken to the chamber last night and asked them to work with us specifically just to replenish and put back these coarse coal stockpiles. In Eskom, they call it brine stockpiles because in 2008, I insisted that they have this coal available as a mitigation 